the Rosicrucian Museum in the U.S. It's the Rosicrucian Egyptian Museum. Now this is all symbology of the pharaohs. And um, like I said in my other videos, there's a lot of um, uh, political uh, um, movement and uh, sects and everything that all come back to the old ancient Egyptian religion of Horus and, and Horus and Isis. Pharaoh is viewed as an incarnation of Horus, a falcon god, and the posthumous son of Horus who himself was a divine king slain by his brother Seth. Horus fought his uncle for the return of the throne and part of the ascension process of the king was a proper ritual of the predecessor as Horus carrying out the last rites of Horus second and third sons taking over from the first son's birthright is what they call the new order today every aristocrat gets a to rule for a while and they disguise this for normal people and act as if we can choose but they determine who runs the lower aristocrats occupy positions of power in government but also in MSN, etc. So this is the museum in the US. These are pictures of them. And you can see there is nothing to do. They say it in their own words also. They've got nothing to do with Christianity or something like that. It's an ancient Egyptian order so it's got really nothing to do a lot of people think it's christianity or something that uh, that are uh, those rosicrucians are are active with but they are not they are ancient egyptian religion of baal worship and everything and you know if you see the socialists through the uh, uh, the last uh, century, a lot of socialists use the rose as their symbol, like the, the labor movement in in uh, the UK, but also in the Netherlands, and uh, a lot of labor movements is also socialists. So they're the same kind of pieces of pie in the same uh, pyramid uh, matrix kind of Horus Matrix, like Sean Ross uh, would say, a Horus Matrix, these people are all the same, they have different faces, but they've got the same ideology in their background, so you can see it here, the rose here, and this is the symbol, this is the pyramid, the capstone especially, those are the people who rule the world by a scam and vice and um, scamming people and uh, uh, creating wars and fighting against each other just for the sake of it just to uh, enslave further enslave people and keep them busy and kill them call them like uh, like we are cattle here this is a uh, again all Egyptian, all this is all Egyptian, and again the roses, the Rosicrucians. So, socialists, Rosicrucians, Islamists, because the Rosicrucian uh, is said to that the, uh, they started the Rosicrucianists was someone from some guy from Germany who went to uh, the Middle East and he got involved in Sufism and that's uh, the, the vice that they use but it's actually the same story the whole Islam stuff and uh, socialist and Nazi and fascist they're all the same 
basic Egyptian, ancient Egyptian mystical schools. Look at this symbology. Everything is Egyptian, 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 all pharaonic. It's a feudal system. They, uh, they are pharaohs. They want to rule the world. They want to rule the world, the whole world. That's what they are busy with, the one world government. And it is also uh, traces back to the Upper and Lower Egypt, the New World Order, the Old King, the Firstborn gets uh, the whole kingdom, and now the second and the third and the fourth son wants to take over. But in, in bases, they're all the same uh, stupid idiots, and they're all ruling us uh, via nobility and uh, via secret societies sects, but also NGOs and uh, um, uh, secret uh, services of countries. They all are um, a nobility that uh, worship the old uh, Ra, Sun God and the Pharaoh. They are all Pharaohs and they disguise themselves as secret service or, and they all come together and Freemasons and only the the top layer knows what actually is going on and the, the down uh, the layers down below they don't really know but they are trying to get uh, up so these people are uh, manipulating them so they but they never reach the highest uh, level of course because that's only reserved for the nobility but they never tell that to the people and they never tell that they are worshipping Satan and the Lucifer and uh, the whole Seth and Horus and everything and all the, it's all the same names or different names for the same things. So, 